Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, today I am going to be simulating next season Champions League. Obviously, the draw came out the other day for the teams. But before we get started, obviously, as always, when someone tries to do this, there was a few problems. So, first of all, in... Uh, it won't let me put Frankfurt in because there's already four German teams in. So even though Frankfurt will be in the Champions League because there's already four German teams, it will not let me put them in. So I've replaced them for PSV because PSV are four stars and have about the same attack, mid and defence. So yeah. And then it is Group F. Obviously there's Celt it's supposed to be Celtic which obviously are in the game. But it will only it will only let me put one Scottish team into the uh, into the tournament. So yeah, and then finally in in Group H, I'm now going to pronounce this right wrong, but Maccabi Hafia, they're an Israeli team, and obviously the Israeli league isn't in FIFA, so I just replaced it with Dynamo Kiev. So yeah, there's a few missing ones, but it's mostly all correct, and I'm sure the ones I've placed wouldn't have gone far anyway. Uh, so, basically, I have not changed any of the squads. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to... I am going to do this video again once, I got, once I've got FIFA 23. I have pre-ordered it already, so I will get it uh, when it is released. I will do this again on FIFA 23 with all the updated squads and... Obviously, the Champions League will already be here on FIFA 23, so I won't have to do it myself. But I've, I wanted to do this video um, now before the Champions League actually starts, because obviously by the time the um, by the time FIFA 23 comes out, the like one or two Champions League games will have been played. So yeah. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get into this. So as you can see here, I am going to be controlling every team. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sim through the group stage because no one wants to see that, trust me. I've done this kind of thing before and simming through the group stage is just so boring. And yeah, no one's going to want to see that. So, uh, you, you have seen all the groups and all the replacement for teams that I can't add. So I will return after I've done the group stages. Okay, I have finally finished simming through all the group stages. Now I'm going to say my predictions for the groups before actually seeing what FIFA thinks will happen. Okay, so my prediction for Group A was Liverpool first, Ajax second, Napoli third, Rangers last. But <coughs> Napoli came first and they beat Liverpool on goal differential for first spot. So Liverpool comes second. Rangers... Wait... Jeez, yeah, Napoli was Liverpool's last game, so if they'd beat them by a three-goal margin, they would have gone through top. Anyway, and Ajax was third and Rangers fourth, so I got Rangers right, that's the only one in the group. So in the in the next group, uh, Atletico Madrid, Porto, Leverkusen, and then the other team, Club Brugge, yeah. So, jeez, uh, Leverkusen actually came first, Atletico Madrid second. Porto third and coverage fourth and then I'm not gonna lie I've been simming that they've just ah right the group of death the group of death so uh this is the eight this is the order I predict it to be honest Bayern Barca Inter and then that Czech Republic I think team we yeah, have again another team winning a group based on goal difference by Munich winning on goal difference of six to one and then Inter not at the same level at all, I guess. And then I guess Spurs sporting uh <coughs> um Marcelo Ma Ma you know what I mean. But Sp Spurs did come first, I got that right, but it was actually Marcelo that came second, I can't say it. And then third sporting and then PSV who represented represented Celtic I think came fourth. And then Switch. Oh, I predicted. I would predict. I've predicted Chelsea first and and Salzburg third. But other than that, yeah. And then now, what is interesting about this group is going on in the final game. 
Real Madrid actually had to beat Young Boys in the final game of the group stage to be able to progress. They were, they were like, you can't see me, but they were like so close to uh, getting knocked out in the group stage. But swap, but swap for uh, Real Madrid and Leipzig, and that's what I think the group will be. Now, here is the biggest drama. Manchester City went out. Again, on the final game, they won 2-0 against uh, Copenhagen, but then Sevilla beat Dortmund, which put them back into second place. So, yeah. Big twist here, but I I feel like it's Dortmund, uh, uh, City and Dortmund, and then Sevilla, and then Copenhagen in real life. And then lastly, um, swap PSG and Juventus, and that's what I think it will be in real life. Okay, so let's see the round of 16 ties. Real Madrid versus Spurs, Liverpool versus Juventus, Sevilla versus Milan, Marseille versus Napoli, Chelsea versus Leipzig, Atletico versus Bayern, Barca versus Dortmund, and PSG versus Leverkusen. Let's go. Real Madrid versus Spurs, first leg, first up. And Spurs win 3-0. Well, uh, I was... Definitely not expecting that, but we move. Uh, first leg of the Liverpool Juventus game. 1 0 win, a slim 1 0 win for Liverpool for a Sadio Mane goal. As obviously, like I said, I have an updated squad. So I'll do an updated squad one on FIFA 23 when I get it. Sevilla versus Milan. Let's see. Both good teams. And Milan absolutely destroys Sevilla. Se- Sevilla. Yeah, both good teams, like I said, but I guess Milan's just a much stronger one. The power of blue goes against each other here. Marse- Marseille versus Napoli. And Marseille come out just about on top. Okay. Chelsea versus RB Leipzig. This is actually a much closer game for me than most people would think. And I was right, a 1-1 draw. Yeah, I think I do think Chelsea is better, but I think it's definitely it would definitely be tougher than most people would think if those two went against each other. And it seems that Lokomotiv Madrid have a problem, but so does um Bayern because their main right back is out. So injury concerns for both. Let's see how it works. And Lokomotiv Madrid get the lead in the first leg. Definitely not what I would have expected, seeing this seeing as the dominance Bayern had in the group. And then. Barcelona versus Dortmund. This would be Labour versus Haaland if it was updated squads, but it's not. And then Barca win 2 1. Yeah, like I said, that will happen on FIFA 23 when I get it. Okay. PSG versus Leverkusen now. Should be easy enough for PSG, but apparently not. And apparently Leverkusen are, are better than PSG. Announcement, everybody. Apparently, Leverkusen are better than PSG. Okay, we're doing the second leg of Milan Sevilla first. I mean, this one's basically wrapped up, I think, unless they really screw up. A 1 1 draw that sends Milan through to the quarterfinals. The first team to go to, down to the quarterfinals that FIFA predicts is AC Milan. Okay, back to the power of blue. Napoli have the home legs, so they could easily turn it around with only a one goal deficit, and they so almost do, but Mar- Marseille managed to win on penalties 5 4, and they are the second team going to the quarterfinals. <sighs> What's the what second leg of it? Okay, the, the big twist of the round of 16 Spurs winning 3 0 in the first leg. Can Real Madrid do a Liverpool Barcelona esque comeback here? They cannot, as they get destroyed 6-1 on aggregate, 3-1 on, on the actual day. I definitely did not expect that, but I am happy about it, obviously, because I do not like Real Madrid. And Real Madrid are out, Spurs are going to the quarterfinals. <sighs> Big game here, away from home. Oh, yes, it's a 2-2 draw. Ooh, Salah. Salah getting an 88th minute goal so it wouldn't go to extra time. Ooh, and Liverpool are through to the quarterfinals. Okay, up next. Dortmund versus Barca. Barca have a slim advantage, but again, like Napoli, Dortmund are at home, so they could turn this around. And they do. Unlike Napoli, they 
they turn it around and then win on penalties and Barcelona is out, Dortmund go through, a good comeback and then they win on penalties. Dortmund is through to the quarterfinals. Both <coughs> both Real Madrid and Barcelona out already here. Now, can PSG recover from that embarrassment of the first leg? No, they can't as PSG go out to Leverkusen, everybody. Beware of Leverkusen, apparently they can beat PSG. Yeah, apparently they can win against PSG, so be careful of them. Now, this finished in a 1-1 draw. Leipzig are at home, but this could still go anyway. And in the second leg, Chelsea absolutely destroyed them. 4-1 on a night, 5-2 on aggregate. Chelsea a go through. Now, it's just a few left to go. Now this one. Again, a slim 2-1 lead so Bayern could make the comeback like Dortmund. And they don't. Another 2-1 defeat and Bayern, Real Madrid and Bayern, Real Madrid, Barcelona and PSG all go out in the round of 16. As well as Man City going out in the group stage. What is, fee is FIFA on drugs? They're like, what kind of prediction is this? Okay, so for the quarterfinals, Dortmund, Liverpool, Leverkusen, Atletico, Marseille, Spurs, Chelsea, Milan. So Chelsea will go against their old striker. But first we have Liverpool, Dortmund. It's a 1-1 draw. Liverpool will be at home in the second leg, which could help. Which definitely could help there. Okay, Leverkusen versus Atletico Madrid. Ale Leverkusen can take down PSG. Can they take down Atletico Madrid? In the first leg, they can't. Okay, I guess another announcement. Leverkusen is better than PSG, but not by the non Atletico people. Okay, Marseille have an injury problem or suspension problem, but they go against Spurs here. And it's a 1-1 draw. Spurs beat Real Madrid 3-0 in the first leg. And they draw 1-1 to Marseille. I guess Marseille must be better than Real Madrid. Anyway, Chelsea versus Milan here. He will come out on top and Milan win 2-0. Yeah, Milan win 2-0 and that was with Chelsea at home. So Chelsea don't seem to have that much of a chance anymore. But who knows? Spurs also have a problem apparently. Uh, which is, I'm not sure. Oh, Mora. Kulisewski's been put in there. Anyway, second leg here. And Spurs win 3-0. And Spurs are back into a semi-final. Yeah, back into a semi-final of the Champions League. Milan, Chelsea, can can Chelsea get an amazing comeback here? No, they can't as they lose 2-1. Milan go into the semi-finals. Just two more games to decide here. Here we go. Come on. What's it going to be? It's a 3-1 win for Dortmund. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, and Liverpool are out. <laughs> yeah, and Liverpool are out of the Champions League. Okay, well, uh, let's see what happens here with Villarica and Leverkusen. And Leverkusen made the comeback and they beat Leverica Madrid. Are uh, Leverkusen about to win the Champions League or... Or something. Yeah, Leverkusen about to win the freaking Champions League. I'm actually thinking they might at this point. So it's Dortmund versus Milan and Spurs versus Leverkusen. Okay, let's go. And Milan have a one goal advantage going into the second leg. Spurs, Leverkusen, either one could win here, I would say. And it is a 1-1 draw in the first leg. Leverkusen could actually go to the final here. Second second leg here. Will Leverkusen be going to a Champions League final? Yes, they will. Bayer Leverkusen, ladies and gentlemen, have got to a Champions League final. And they will be facing... Yeah, Bayer Leverkusen have somehow got to a Champions League final and they will be facing Dortmund as Dortmund make a great comeback. 
Who would have thought Bayer Leverkusen versus Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League final? Definitely not what I expected when I started this. So, um, without further ado, Champions League final time. Okay, and here we have it. The Champions League final will be Borussia Dortmund on Leverkusen. And Leverkusen have just won a Champions League final. By Leverkusen, the last name I would have expected, have won the Champions League final. What is going on with this game? Champions League finalists. A lot of twists, mainly them involving Bayer Leverkusen, but obviously the main one being that Man City went out in the group. And then Leverkusen somehow beating PSG, then somehow beating Atletico Madrid, and then beating Spurs, which isn't as hard, if we're being honest. But then Bayer Leverkusen, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to what FIFA thinks will be will be your Champions League winners next season. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This, <clears throat> so this is what FIFA 22 thinks will happen. I still can't believe that it's saying that Leverkusen will win the Champions League. But I will be doing this again on FIFA 23 so that I can have like all the teams that are actually in the game but it wouldn't let me put in. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and the twists and, and the whole twists and turns that it had, mainly uh, the ones that is right in front of you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.